Hi guys, it's Kristen from Six Sister Stuff and today I am making three easy slow cooker freezer meals. We are collaborating with my friend that I met at a YouTube conference in Cincinnati. Her name is Vanessa Lemon and her YouTube channel is called Lemonade Mom. So she posts about all kinds of fun stuff, from grocery hauls to what to feed your kids, school lunch ideas. She pretty much has everything that a mom needs to organize her life all in one place. So over on Vanessa's post, she is posting three freezer meals also. They are going to be fall soups and they seriously look so good. So be sure to check out Vanessa's channel with her three slow cooker meals, subscribe and follow her, and then make sure to watch our video. If you want to see more freezer meals, make sure you give it a big thumbs up or comment below of what freezer meals you want to see. All right, let's go make some freezer meals. The first recipe I'm making is called white chicken chili. Now it's six to eight hours on low or three to four on high. So first I am just going to add my chicken breasts. See my little secret of how I make freezer meals? Next I'm going to add some great northern beans. Then I have two cans of chicken broth, my handy dandy can opener which I love. Then I'm going to take two teaspoons of cumin and pour it in there too. Alright, now I'm going to take some salsa verde, I think that's how you say it, the green salsa. We use mild and you just dump the whole entire can of salsa in there. Then you just pull it out zip it up, mix it around a little bit, and you're good to go. Now I love to add avocados, sour cream, and a little bit of cilantro on top. All right, so this one is pineapple barbecue chicken, and it is six to eight hours on low, three to four hours on high. So I have four chicken breasts. I'm gonna use half the can of pineapple, half of the bottle of pineapple wing sauce, and half of a bottle of barbecue sauce. Now that wing sauce, you can find it at Kroger, it is my favorite. So just put your chicken right into it. I, you can either use three or four, um, and then half a bottle of barbecue sauce. If you want it really juicy, lots of liquids, maybe add a little bit more than half. Then just half a bottle of this wing sauce, and then half of a can of pineapple. Now, instead of wasting all of these half bottles and half cans, just make another freezer meal and just put chicken in it, same ingredients, that easy. So zip it up, mix it around, and stick it in your freezer. I like to serve my barbecue chicken over rice. If it's a little too dry for you, just go ahead and add more barbecue sauce. So this one is called chicken pot pie casserole. So the first part you make in the slow cooker and the last part you make in the oven. Okay, so I'm getting my freezer bag all ready. Putting my chicken in. Then I added a 10 ounce bag of frozen vegetables. Next, you add about one teaspoon of dried thyme and just dump that in. And then one can of gravy. I use chicken gravy. You could actually use turkey and use turkey gravy, but I have lots of chicken, so that's what I'm using. Then you just Pull it right out of the bag, zip it up, mix it around a little bit, and you can stick it right into your freezer. Now when this is all done cooking in the slow cooker, you want to put it in a 9 by 13 pan. I put instant mashed potatoes on top with my favorite cheese and baked it for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. It's kind of a mix between shepherd's pie and chicken pot pie. Anyways, don't forget subscribe to our channel and check out more of our favorite recipes. Bye guys.